All right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Eternal Card Game. Today I want to do uh, deck grading. Um, this will be my first attempt at decking, uh, <laughs> decking at grading somebody else's deck, the mine and uh, Spirit Chiller. So awesome enough to let me give it a shot. He showed me this deck, and uh, I think it's awesome. It plays smoother than a lot, or maybe all of the decks that I have. And uh, we had some good games. And then I asked him for permission whether I could try this deck out. I call it the Cha Cha deck just to give you guys an idea about what's going on in here at Stone Scar. Um, but let me just uh, introduce my deck grading system off the bat here so you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to give some important caveats. There we go. All right. So I, I give uh, uh, one to five, right? So whether a deck. How it does on um, power influence management, speed of pacing of play, deck card cohesiveness, synergy, um, diversity in dealing with various threats, and the overall game. I've done this with other decks, uh, Sky Pledge, which I gave an average mark of 0.3, but Grenadine 17.7, Ambusher 18.9. Um, in beautiful 18.4 and the strongest so far of my decks now this is not exactly the same especially in the market as spirit chiller's original stone scar deck in that there is a Karya in the main board with four and button in the market with uh, one now originally he had these four buttons in here and uh, one Akari in the market, so they were swapped, basically. However, he did mention that he was he might change the same way that I did. I was forced to change because I didn't have the same cards, right? Like, I don't have the uh, shift stone to get um, three more buttons, obviously. And uh, I asked his uh, idea of what I could replace them with, and he said uh, Akari. I believe there will be some people who feel that what I'm doing is wrong for a number of reasons. So I've, I've decided to answer some of those in advance. First of all, I am no expert, right? Uh, I'm not an I'm not an eternal card or trading card game expert. I played for a number of years, just as many of you have, or maybe your guys are just starting to get into it. Uh, however, I am not an expert. I am not in Masters, I have never been there. I have not been to Worlds. If you want to see somebody who's been to Worlds, you can, um, you can go see uh, Sendrith, and I'll just put a shout out there. I believe that's how you spell his name. Now there's somebody who's recently been to Worlds, and you watch his stream, you'll see that he is, especially compared to me, an expert. Um, now if you want to see somebody who has a very deep knowledge of the game and also has a level of expertise which is much better than mine go and check out uh, Pojo. so that covers two kinds different kinds of expertise both on the board and off so yeah I'm not trying to be an expert by doing this this is this is you know this is for fun and it's also to improve my game as well and to see the diversity of uh, decks that are out there and to perhaps inform you the viewer now number two this deck is not purely original due to available cards this will happen in most cases but not all it depends on the legendaries that are available to players uh, there's only a tiny minor change in this one however and uh, it might not even be a valid change anymore so it might be valid as the original uh, I'm not sure but I was lucky with this one in that it didn't it's not it's not chock full with legendaries uh, number three I <laughs> as a non-expert and just as a human being will not play it exactly as the designer intended for example I tend to play more you know yellow green uh, combray colors I'm a bit more diverse these days but um, you know what even the deck player doesn't always play them as intended, let alone the uh, 
you know, a guest player. So, just for fun. Uh, RNG will affect everything. Not not. Will affect everything and everyone. Not the same. And not same time. That's really bad. It's a really bad sentence, but what I mean is luck of the draw, where I am in rank, it will all affect how the games go. Um, and number five, this is more theoretical. Grading itself is a thought concept. It's just so it's like um, no matter what I mark, concept of itself and my application of it, it's just flawed. It's just uh, it's just there. So those are important caveats and. Uh, I might bring them up in the future, but it was essential that I do it now. Alright. Wakolo. Panchacha. In this case, I would redraw. I have a redrawing system. Which... And then I keep that. So, the first draw is based on choice. You can choose to keep it or not. The second draw is if I have at least three power. Or two power and a scout, or two power and a uh, fetch, then I will keep it no matter what. And that keeps it consistent. And uh, if I don't, then I'll go down to Mulligan. Okay, power. Power was perfect. It wasn't over, but uh, that's a. I didn't have a surplus of it. Uh, we're not trying to go perfect anyway. Deck is all. Uh, was I one turn ahead of the enemy? Sure, it looked like it, didn't it? Okay, no cards are wasted. No more than one turn. Was no top draw. I keep that excellent. And uh, threats are utterly destroyed. In fact that he folded, I don't know. Maybe that's just art. I think Spirit Chiller gave me this deck before Bastion Rising came out. I don't remember. I think so. And then um, that means there might be some changes he made. So that. No, caveat number six is he might have changed the deck. Actually, I should add that caveat. out here but everything here requires a lot of power so I'm gonna redraw that for the choice draw and I'm gonna accept this as the default
well played, sir. How many turns do we get through? Six. Now, would I call that a, a, a close loss or a major loss? Um, let's, let's mark the other things first. I definitely had a lack of influence there and power. It was uh, poignant. Okay, um, deck falls behind in more than one turn for up to half the game. Uh, yeah, I was falling behind a lot there. I'm going to give myself another average for that. Was I top drawing? I was top drawing. For about two turns there. So we're going to put that there. One to three threats are ignored or overcome the player. I'm undecided whether I call that a major loss or well, let's just call it a close loss because I already defaulted to the close win. It's default. Well, cool. let's give it another roll. Ah, uh, this can be counted as fetching for power, but I think this is too much. This is just too much. Um, that's good, yep. survive getting out um getting out the uh burglarize turn or two earlier might have been enough to save me okay so let's uh see what happened there Close win or a close loss or major loss, probably a close loss again. Um, I was lacking not influence that turn, the influence is good, but I was lacking power for one to two turns. Um, let me think back there. 
I needed the power to play. Yeah, it was it was it was down here again. Okay. I wasn't I was only behind on maybe one turn. I think. Did the deck hold behind for fun? Well I did lose, so I'd say. Down here again. Three. There was less card wastage here, so that was a lot better. And threats. Um, his threats were just big. So I did get overwhelmed. Yeah, I just got overwhelmed there. <laughs> there was what? There was the Brodos Burden. That's three matches done. Wow. Nope, won't be able to play that. Uh, more colors. And uh, we'll keep that. Default. I'm dead. Can't find that many cards. Yeah, I'd say that was a uh, more of a major loss because I wasn't able to get any kind of sense of control there. influence of power and that was good okay it was on power until the end when Akaria came out and then stomped me hey great good Manda I hope you're having a great day no more than one card is just no more than uh there was there was top draw 
but uh, there was only like one turn of one, uh, about two turns of subordinate top to right all threats are answered in two turns or less dominant no more than no it was, uh, it was those major threats that I couldn't handle again okay all right what are we doing there we got four games in it again better in it okay cannot accept that and I must accept that yes off we go game number five versus Esper gravity Okay. Didn't work out, but that was a lot closer. Um, give that one a loss. Did I lack influence and power? I did lack. Um, I lack the influence for Jack. Right? I needed the third one for Jack, and that would have helped me have board control and card draw. Okay, uh I was on par, but I didn't fall and I didn't fall behind until the Acarius came out, but you know, it is. It was the useless card, Jack, because of the power of the um the influence. Uh and that did waste did that waste turns? Not really more than one turn wasted and no more than yeah so it's three around there all threats are answered dominant uh that was overwhelmed by there was the uh, wasteland broker that was really like exacting its toll on me um all threats are answered in two turns or less well the... i don't consider the uh the even handed golem as a uh, there was a Wasteland Broker who was around for like three turns. Then there was a Karia, and I killed her right away. What kind of balance is there out? So it's around a two to three, right? I mean, these don't always need to be taken as absolutes. Uh, one to three, or overcome the player. So because it overcomes the player, we have to put it here. Okay. And I believe this is match six. Off we go. Arabum. I could easily get stuck at free power again. At least I have battle at the gate. All right, let's try that.
Uh, yeah, that was not a good boss. Did I lack for influence and power? Yeah, a little bit. Um, deck falls behind on no more than one turn. Let me have a look. Let me have a think here. I was a I was okay until I wasn't okay, and then I got the uh, hit by bigger units. Let's give that two. Um, some cards are wasted. Turns are wasted. There. And the threats overcame me, but they weren't like. I was able to overcome some of them, but not enough. Alright. This is game number six. Interest. Probably get into uh, better power with that. I mean, I got the scout and all. One kill card, good units. Power, there we go. Yeah, it's better because then I can just wait a turn for that. Uh, yeah, too, too early for Akaria. Okay, extra damage, good. Okay, so he's playing Argent Port. Um, trying to think of what that into. Nothing I can play from the market anyway, so let's. Uh, I don't have Battle of the Gates, so let's do uh, Chaos Champion. Cha cha! Yeah. It's working with that and my um, fast spells. Save Cha Cha, but at least she's still at 3 3. Back. Here you are again. Not enough power. Jack presents a unique problem <clears throat> in a deck that has lots of multicolored power. Excuse me. Yeah, no, that's just nasty. Ah, <laughs> oh, if only I had that sigil. Right, well, get to go into it. So, so far... Okay, vampire bats. So, I need something that kind of gets flyers. I think malediction will be alright. Back. There's nothing to really like. You can kill flyers. This can kill flyers. This can gain my life back. I think I just hold out. At least while I have a seer in my hand. I mean, I could also toss seer to get two um, chars, basically, right? Uh. Okay, some annoying insect dudes. Okay, um, hmm. I don't need that extra power right now, do I? Could get up to the Pale Rider's timepiece. He might draw, okay, so if he draws that thing out, the Tormentor, it's like, what, a 10-10? Flying charge overwhelm. What do I have anything to counter that? Okay, well, let's play Vara and uh now it's my turn. 
increase that can target for um target button for five. with Aramont. No, you're not falling for that trick, eh? I don't have enough power to get Mind Splitter, do I? Three plus four. Malediction button. Uh... Yeah, how the hell do I do? Okay, steal a relic and put it into your hand. Okay, let's do that. Fresh from the battlefield. I think I could steal Aramont. <laughs> Nefarious Dolly. I think that's a that's a that's an appropriate name for little spitelings, isn't it? You become a relic of my nightmares, and hopefully I can steal it. Night time. Hard draw. Okay. It's now my Aramont, thank you very much. Got him down to nine. I suppose I could beg for a uh, sigil, right? This ends now. One power away from two power away from the tormentor. I think I go for silver blade menace. Leave you in my hand for now. Choose Do this. Um, make a bunch of those. Yeah. I would like to check to snipe if possible. A gift of the shadow. Ah. Tacky life game, dude. <laughs> okay, um, let's just clear the way for Jack then, uh, with Jack, sorry. Whatever you need. But we do four damage, so, almost there. Oh, right, yeah, he gets another five. Shouldn't get too excited, right? Yeah, uh, go for the attack. Two seers now, and that's where the uh, their usefulness is going to come out. Another one. Dead, dead, dead. Harsh rules are like that. You know? We do this. You buying or not? Mm. Okay. Maybe I trade 
up for a button. Especially if I get a power. Then I could charge him in. And win. Give me a power. Give me a power. Yeah, baby. I think we got him. Uh... Yeah. Think. Fresh from the battle. I gotta keep thinking for a while. Did it! That was a close win, but it was really satisfying. I'm gonna get some of my uh, rank back. Okay. Nice. Close win. Um, yeah, very close on the power. Good. Um, was I... Ahead of the enemy. No, I'd say I was on par with the enemy. I was only able to blow away just at the end there. The key, well, the key combo with the uh, button went off, so that's good. No wasted cards. Seer was... No, I could have used Seer anytime, so let's give it a... Oh, yep, yeah, one of those. And... All threats are utterly repressed or destroyed too. What are you attacking me with? I'm not able to destroy all threats immediately, and that, that kind of wore me down, right? I was down to like 10 of the in there. It's a very interesting way to play this deck because you, despite it being a red black deck, you don't want to play many of your units out front. You just want to keep, you want to try to exhaust them. Is this uh, game seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so this is uh, game, game number eight. Intensia. Uh, ooh. No. Ye better. <laughs> if it was uh, one Wyatt's Junkyard, I might have gone for it, but with two, they would have had a lot of units to counter what I was playing anyway. She insists on making an appearance. I'm going to do Junkyard, see if I can clear out whatever is in his hand, force him into the top draw position. Okay, cool. Alright. Nice. This is the kind of strong win that I felt quite common when I first played this. Um, I at least one turn ahead of the enemy. No, I was actually on par with the enemy because I was... Behind in the beginning, and then I overtook at the end, so it kind of levels out, right? Uh, consistent dominance. Did I have consistent dominance? Key combo goes off. Um, it's a wasted. No top draw. I remember top drawing on one turn. Nah, I was ahead of him. And then. Threats are controlled, they weren't utterly repressed. Oh, so, let's give them that. Cool, cool, cool. Brad 981. Good enough power. Good enough units. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Who goes first? The enemy. Die with honor. No. I want to die with dishonor. Yes, I can actually play you. Yes, I can go. Uh, 
anything that reads that. Shavka inspires us. Okay, he's going for simple aggro. Let's see, any weapon on there? Hmm. Kill that. I already want to take four, but uh, I do have viable blockers I'm making here. Are you gonna eat that? No. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? A bit stronger. I get malediction that thing. <sighs> Stone scar is into place for the weak hearted. He's gonna eat that right off the bat, isn't he? Okay. Unexpected. Block that. I hope oh, you got more than that. Okay. Okay. Good news, folks. Deck is making an appearance. But I still get my... Alrighty, this nasty thing. Uh, something with life gain. Silver Blade Menace. Oh, oh, lack in the black. Hmm. Careful there. That's Choose a path. Oh, so risky. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get flooded with the menaces. They still got a block out for that guy. Yeah, there's one. Um, I'll be doing four, and he'll be doing three. Then I'll put a jack down and start getting card draw. Whatever you need. Because I got another one, you know. How many power cards do I want to throw away? Nope, I'm good. What you got now? Reporting in. He's ready to be too, eh? Okay, we can deal with you. Nighty night. Sorry. He's back in the saddle again. Getting the card draw from the delicious Jack ability. Wouldn't mind stopping that grenade in. Wouldn't mind getting another shadow power. Yeah, baby. Ouch. Ouchie! Some of my life back. Winged justice. He has another one of those. I'm dead, right? Yep. Sorry, sorry. The close one. Oh, he's done. Nice, very nice. That was very um. What do you call that? Skin of the teeth or something gross like that? Alright, very close win, but enjoyable. Nice turn. No, I don't know if there was, a, there was a little bit of a seesawing going on there, but uh, the, the cards that I had in hand worked really well. This deck cannot get a perfect amount of influence due to the fact Aria always needing more. Um, I was just ahead of the enemy, and that enabled me to survive. No cards were wasted, and we had a jet combo go off. Chell, what? Threats are controlled within two. Um, yeah, and we we didn't annihilate the threats, but we did kill them pretty good. Now, one more game. I hope to win so I can get that silver chest and I do want the deck to do really well. 
1047368730. Reporting for duty. Okay, um, sure, let's we'll keep that. Get rid of the difficult power first. in case button fails um oh wait no we don't do this guy yeah baby i can see why spirit chiller wanted button in this deck it's uh it's awesome and in fact uh running him instead of akaria is probably better and then sideboarding akaria Due to her cost and influence, so um, yeah, the he thought about putting Akaria in the uh, main deck and then sideboarding Button, but I would recommend. I don't know what the state of the deck is. It was like two or three weeks ago, before Bastion, I think. So yeah, I would say Button is Button won me way more games than Akaria did. I did I did I even get? I might have got Akaria at once or zero times. Uh, because Button relies on the similar uh, influence profile to which Jack relies on, whereas Ikaria tries to drag the deck into a shadow influence direction, and that uh, that doesn't work uh, without enough influence. And then, of course, like you're dragging, dragging um, that much. That much requirement for um, shadow influence, you're actually jack dragging um, sigils away from Jack, which he needs to snipe people. Okay, uh, that was a strong win. I liked it. I felt control most of the game. Did I have enough influence and power the whole game? I'd say I did that turn. I didn't have to like put down the barrel of a Nakaria and throw away. One turn ahead of the enemy. Ah, oh, don't. Yeah, his name is. Butt on. <laughs> it's a funny guy, isn't it? Uh, the, did the key combo go off with button? Absolutely. Uh, and I destroyed threats. So I expected more games like that, actually. Uh, maybe because I'm moving up into the upper gold ranks. That's why I didn't. Awesome. Let's count it up. Just as a reminder, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Um, this is not a reflection on Spirit Chiller's Jack deck per se. This is on my version of his deck and my version of playing it. There's more reflection on me. I just don't want people to get angry at me, okay? Don't angry me. There were no ones, that's good. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got 20 in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got, uh, what are the 24 in there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Got 44 in here. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55 in here. And no more than three major losses. Yeah, okay, so it still goes into average here. That's good. 
we get uh, three times ten, which is uh, five points. In, uh, no, ten games times three points. So uh, it's thirty. Let's add this up. Uh, Ninety-nine, and then a hundred, hundred and twenty-three, hundred and forty-three here. And Seventy-three divided by ten, and I came up. My place came up with a seventeen point three. Okay, cool. So that plays as a good deck. Good, good, good. There you go. So for me, that played as well as um, my red green granite index. Almost as good as Ambusher and Beautiful. Uh, I bet you in Beautiful. Uh, I mean, Button would have probably pushed that up. Uh, higher right so that was because my own my own deck modifications because um, I don't have the four legendaries basically you know shift stone shift stone discount right and uh, yeah there we go so I would say that that deck is good at least and we also got to bear in mind the rank that I'm at so when I when I was playing uh, when I first played this deck I was playing around silver three or oh uh, sorry silver one or gold three and now i'm a gold one trying to get into diamonds so of course the quality of the enemy decks is a lot better um not only is this a better deck the decks that i'm fighting are better so actually i think this is a critical point in gold one rank that is very important to put. The other ones I don't even remember, but these are all my kind of my all my test ones. So, I'd, for gold rank, I I'd, I'd rank after ten games. I'd say that that's a good deck. Uh, you need some improvements in, you know, based on the games that I played and how I played them. I would say that it does need some more influence management. Power is okay. I can see how the uh, the uh, original deck owner intended it to be kind of a uh, maximum four to five. Um, yeah, me putting in Akaria, it wasn't a, uh, didn't really help. So I would say go back to button and yeah, it still needs a little bit of influence tweaking so that you can get Jack out more reliably. Um, I do like, like this is kind of, not the kind of deck that I normally build, so I kind of like how it becomes both. It's more, it's more to a control deck, but it also has. If you get out Cha Cha early enough, then it has kind of a little bit of an aggro slant to it too. So it's very interesting. Maybe I'm classifying it wrong, but that's how I feel. Like it's not just, it's not just mid range in any way. And I think that's a lot of fun. Very interesting deck. Thank you very much, uh, Spirit Cheller. I'm just going to repeat my caveats in case people are wondering what the hell of qualifications I have, and that's very little. So, just to repeat, I'm no expert, um, so I do this deck grading for fun, uh, improve my own card um, card uh, understanding, deck building, and gameplay. So if you want to see experts, people who are like in worlds or have a lot of knowledge on the game, um, you can check out Cassandra's. Or Loco Pojo on um, Twitch. So Cassandrith was uh, recently in the worlds, and Loco Pojo has great game lore knowledge as well. Uh, number two, this deck is not purely original due to its available cards. So am I really playing his deck? Not really, okay? Uh, I'm playing it as close as I could afford. Um, the deck owner likely changed the deck after importing. So I imported it about two to three weeks ago, I think. I think that was how long it was and I've been busy since then and I managed to get things ready now. Since then a major change has happened which is Bastion Rising and uh, he might not even run this anymore or he might not run it in the same way. I mean I've had to update my, a lot of my decks in the last couple of weeks too. That's great, that's a turn of card game right? Uh, so it does reflect on the grading. I will not, I did not play it exactly as the designer intended. Yeah it's just fun right so if he's watching this later, he might he'll be cursing me, going like, "What? 
TF is this guy doing with that card? Not doing with that card, yeah? <laughs> and actually, Spirit Chiller, if you are watching this later, do, do give me those comments and I will put them as part of the assessment because I think that's cool, right? If you give me some feedback, that would be, uh, it will make the assessment even better. If you say something like, you didn't play it right, or I think you played it well, or I agree with you, whatever you want to say. As long as you don't drop too many F-bombs. <laughs> um, it will actually increase my understanding as well, and who knows, maybe it will be of help to you. Uh, RNG, so the random number. The rolls of the dice uh, will affect everything and everyone and not at the same time. Uh, play. And set. Um, the the rank played, which is gold, will have a gold one. Will have a huge um, influence, and the current set, which happened to change. I mean, it wouldn't be nor wouldn't normally this thing happen where they would have a set in between somebody giving me the deck and then me playing it, but uh, it did, so it did happen. And uh, of course, grading as a concept is flawed. So, you know, you follow theories in teaching, and you know, that's my other profession is teaching. Grading itself is a flawed concept. You do it as a way to move forward, both as a teacher. I'm not calling myself a teacher in this game, I'm calling myself a teacher in general. Um, Grading is a way to move yourself ahead as a teacher and a learner at the same time. And the, the matrix, is, matrix itself has to be malleable. So uh, nothing is set in stone, but based on what I played and how I played it, uh, I'd give that yeah, 17 out of 17.3, um, and that's good. Alright, so that's all I have for the deck grading. I have, and thank you so much for hanging out for that. Uh, thank you also to um, Spirit Keller for letting me work, have a look at your deck and use it.